Hello everyone, welcome to the Ichimoku.co daily stock market review for the trading day ending Monday, November 10th. Firstly looking at the relative performance of the indices and uh, the leader today was the Russell 2000 up 0.53% followed by the Nasdaq 100 up 0.37 and closely followed by the S&P 500 up 0.31% with the Dow Jones the laggard but still up by 0.23%. Firstly, looking at our Ichimoku chart of uh, the S&P 500 and on the daily charts, and here we see a bullish candle. The previous day's trading, we had a setup for a change of trend. We had a doji-type candle, and uh, that was uh, almost a uh, star doji, uh, with the uh, body being uh, just above the previous body, a doji candle, a large shadow on the bottom. The buyer's in control in that candle, however, but uh, with the lack of upside momentum in net terms, it suggested a possibility for a change of trend, but we didn't see that occur. Today the buyers have been in control for almost the entire day, opening up towards the low and closing uh, up uh, very close to the high, uh, suggesting very strong control, establishing a new major high at 203.8.7. In all three time frames we have a bullish market, and uh, that's with the market trading above the cloud, the Kujin Sen, the Tenkan Sen, and the Chika Span is supporting this bullishness that we're seeing in the market. If the market does come off, look into very, very strong support at the 2019 level, and then even stronger support now, just at the moment, around the 2000 level with the window that was opened up previously holding a support, but also the Tenkan Sen trading roughly in that area. In terms of our bands, very strong bullish activity here, a very strong bullish bias in this market trading up above the upper band. If we do see the market come off, strong support at the upper band at 2021. Moving next to the Dow 30 and here we see a similar type of candle with uh, the market closing up at the highs, establishing a new major high at 17621. Um, potential for a change of trend with the previous day's trading, a potential um, bearish hanging man type pattern, but no confirmation. And this highlights how important it is to have confirmation of these candlestick reversal patterns. And some people might rush in and say, yes, that's a potential or it's a hanging man type candle but the reversals involve the whole pattern not just the one candle and um, confirmation of these reversal type patterns is very very important now as we watch this market open uh, we saw the market uh, sell off just slightly but certainly no strong bearish activity in the market and the buyers closing with strong control a bullish uh, market in all three time frames supported by the chick span here as well if the market does come off strong support down at the uh, previous level at 17350 and with the bands, very strong bullish uh, activity up above the upper band, um, highlighting a strong bullish bias in the long, in the medium term time frame. If we do see the market come off, uh, potential support at the upper band at 17.409 at the moment. Moving next to the NASDAQ 100, and very different type of trading activity here that we're seeing. We're seeing congestion occur in this market, and uh, it does suggest that perhaps the, the NASDAQ is not as strong as the narrower indices in terms of the amount of stocks in that index, but this is uh, certainly a narrow index as well in terms of it being focused very much on technology stocks. But uh, the congestion here certainly does raise some doubt about the strength of buyers in the market, but certainly very solid support below here where the market is, uh, is trading. Now the important thing here is that the market hasn't been able to sell off significantly, even though we've seen the buyers attempting to to uh, fight outside of that resistance uh, just around the 4176, 4177 region. Um, so we have some uh, type of indecision in this market. Now he previously had a very, very solid uh, first and second time frame uptrend breaking out through the Ichimoku cloud and the market relaxing in this manner certainly uh, uh, is not surprising following that very strong uptrend. The important thing here is that um, with the trend being up, the lack of strength that we're seeing from the sellers here does suggest that the next move is likely to be to the upside. The other factor that suggests that uh, the, the likely direction is uh, to be up is the increase in the highs of these candles as the market's been testing back to around this 4175, 4178. 
84179 region, we've seen the uh, buyers accepting higher levels. So it certainly does seem as though while we're trading within this congestion area that the buyers are starting to get keener and keener. And we've seen that for the past four of five candles. So it does suggest that the next breakout is likely to be to the upside. Now with today's candle, we've also seen the market close just very close to that resistance with a strong bullish candle buyers taking control. So the next move wouldn't surprise if we see a close up above that region. We do have a bullish market in all three time frames confirmed by the chicken span. So that also suggests that the next move is likely to be up. Um, with the strong support uh, just uh, around this 4147 area, we also have the support of the large window that was opened up uh, about a week and a half ago. So very, very solid support below where this congestion area is trading. But also we have the Tenkinsen trading within that region. So even if we do see something of a sell-off, there's every likelihood that we are going to see strong support coming in before the market breaches uh, the window. Now just looking at uh, our bands here with the NASDAQ 100 as well and very very different activity than we've seen with the Dow 30 and the S&P 500 where for the past three consecutive candles we've seen the market finding support at the upper band and it does suggest that it still is a strong bullish bias in this market and suggests a very real possibility of the market breaking out to the upside. We should still be watching the area around that upper band if we see a close within the band and a bearish close we could see the market testing uh, to attempt to close that window but at the moment with this current candle being bullish it does suggest that the next move uh, is likely to be to the upside but a lot depends on how the market reacts around this 4179 4178 region Moving next to the Russell 2000, and here we see another bullish market in all three time frames, supported by the chicken span, so suggesting uh, that uh, the next move is likely to be to the upside. Uh, very strong bullish candle today, buyers strongly in control, nice extension of the size of the body, suggesting that the buyers are building some momentum, and they certainly may be building momentum to test and close above this 1182 level of previous uh, resistance. So a good opportunity here for the buyers, and all the while for the past uh, couple of days prior to today, the area uh, within the window has acted as strong support and the area around the 1167 region so very solid support down below where the market uh, has been trading recently a uh, significant breach of this previous swing high around the 1178 region in a bullish manner does suggest that we certainly could see the market trade to higher levels and looking at our bands here with uh, the Russell 2000 and here we see continued bullish activity up above the upper band suggesting a very strong bullish bias in the medium term time frame. For the previous day's trading we saw the upper band hold a support. Um, at the moment the market's still trading away from there so uh, if the market does come off strong support around the upper band trading at the moment 11.68. Let's just uh, take a quick look at some stocks and uh, firstly looking at Yahoo on the daily charts uh, on the left hand side the Ichimoku charts very strong bullish activity up above the uh, three Ichimoku indicators giving us a strong bullish market in all three time frames looking at the relative strength comparative to the S&P 500 strongly outperforming the S&P by trading above that upper band for quite some time so a very very solid performer here and certainly trading a long way up above the upper band on the right hand chart here um, uh, suggesting uh, that uh, we have a very strong bullish bias in terms of trending uh, the medium trend uh, on the daily charts. If we do see uh, Yahoo come off, then looking to strong support at the upper band at 47.50. Next to Amazon AMZN which has been a strong underperformer for some time and uh, now just uh, moving back to within the band so a lot of that underperformance that we saw or that strong underperformance is no longer there still underperforming by trading below the middle of the bands but not as solidly as previous. Uh, that coincides with a bullish breakout up above the Kijunsen so we have a bullish market in the medium and fast term time frames but still bearish in that uh, longer term time frame by trading below the uh, Ichimoku cloud. Um, in terms of a potential rally, if uh, Amazon can breach that previous swing high around 308.33, we could see the market testing to the previous resistance level around 311. But certainly, uh, looking at the right hand side on the uh, um, daily chart with the bands, we've seen the strong bearish activity down below the lower band and the market now testing within the bands and breaching the middle of the bands in a bullish manner, suggesting a good possibility of Amazon at least testing to the upper band around 309. 
next to Hewlett Packard HPQ and uh, on the left hand side the Ichimoku chart, a bullish breakout up above the uh, um, Ichimoku cloud, uh, bullish in all three time frames, supported by the checker span. Strong bullish candle, but some uh, resistance around uh, this level from 37.58 down roughly to about the $37 level. Um, looking at the relative strength uh, against the S&P, just breaking out through the top of the band and suggesting some strong outperformance. Uh, but what we'd like to see is some follow through up above the uh, swing high here, about this roughly about the 37.60 level. On the right hand side, solid bullish performance up, up above the upper band, a strong bullish candle here, suggesting now that we have a very strong bias in the medium term time frame and suggesting we could see this market trade to high levels, levels. but ever, as I've suggested, I'd like to see it breach uh, this uh, previous swing high. Next we'll take a quick look at Apple and uh, here we see some congestion occurring over the last week or so. Previous solid bullish trading up above the uh, each of the Ichimoku indicators. Um, uh, something of a uh, potential sell-off occurring here but the sellers aren't strong enough to breach the Tenkatsen indicator finding some support very close to the Tenkatsen a couple of trading periods ago. So it's quite some indecision in the market with the past two trading days having very small body candles and very small range days. Um, it does suggest that uh, there is potential for the market to move back to the upside once uh, we see some strong buying come in here. Would need to breach this uh, swing high roughly just above the 110 level but uh, we should be watching the support at the Tenkatsen at 108 10 very closely. If we do breach that in a bearish manner, we could see the market test at least down to 105 or even beyond. But still a bullish market in all three time frames, and I think the strength of the buyers here is uh, supported by the lack of sell off that we've had from the sellers. No strength from the sellers in this market. Looking at the relative strength, previously strongly outperforming by trading above the upper band against the S&P 500, now trading within the bands, so suggesting still some outperformance but not strong. Looking at our bands here on the right hand side with a price action and continued price activity up above the upper band with the upper band now holding as support and being rejected from there and now just closing around that upper band so a very important trading day coming up. If we see uh, the trend uh, uh, move to the downside and sellers close within the bands uh, in a bearish manner then we could see the market testing down to the middle band around the 104.67 level so some very important trading coming up for the next day.